Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is July 15th. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about Ehang stock movement and type certificate time frame as well as Ehang related activities. First, about point to point flight by MASC in Japan. Today, both Ehang and MASC announced the flight event on their Twitter accounts. Here is the Ehang's Twitter post with a video clip. Here is the MASC Twitter post with the same video clip. Also you can see on the same video clip, there are MASC name and logo as well as Ehang name and logo. The Ehang Twitter message says. A demonstration of Ehang's autonomous point-to-point -point flying capability overseas. EH-216 has stably taken off and landed at two sites in Oita City, Oita Prefecture. The MASC Twitter message says. Flying car, successful test flight in Oita City. Going back and forth between the first two points Wednesday, July 13, 2021 succeeded in Kyushu's first test flight at Natsuharu Tenku Hairoba in Oita City. As you can see on the video clip, the flight along with the takeoff and landing has been very stable. Compared with non-autonomous aircraft with costly and long time on board pilot training, Ehang's autonomous aircraft is much quicker to learn and operate by Ehang's partners for the training. And the automation will result in great operation efficiency and cost saving for the commercial use in the near future. Next, about MASC and its activities. Ehang Partner MASC and Activities. MASC Full Name, Mizushima Aero and Space Industry Cluster Study Group. The group is based in Okayama. July 13, EH-216 flight by MASC on the island of Kyushu, in Oita City. Oita City played host on July 13 to the first EVTOL flight on the island of Kyushu. The test flight took place at Natsuharu Tenku Hairoba, a dirt field area, and featured a gentle cruise of about 5 minutes, about 520 meters off the ground, under the watchful eye of the Oita City Urban Traffic Countermeasures Division. About 130 people, including many city officials, gathered to observe the test flight. Oita City is considering the future introduction of the aircraft to the local area. Here, it is good to see that besides private companies, Oita City, a government entity, is also considering the introduction of Ehang aircraft to the local area. July 14, Ehang 216 exhibited in Oita City. The following day, July 14, the Ehang 216 was exhibited in an outdoor square in the city center. In July 6, flight by Chodai Company, Construction Consulting, in Fukuyama, Hiroshima Prefecture. Earlier this month, in July 6, a similar test flight of the Ehang 216 was conducted in Fukuyama City, Hiroshima Prefecture, along the seacoast. In this case, Chodai Company, a general construction consulting company, conducted the test. Last June, first flight in Kurashiki City, Okayama Prefecture, where MASC is based. There have been about half a dozen Ehang 216 flight tests in Japan, the first of which was occurred last June in Kurashiki City, Okayama Prefecture. It is great to note that Ehang partner MASC Aviation Industry Study Group is introducing EH-216 to private and government entities in Japan. This is expected to be an efficient and effective way for spreading Ehang EVTOL message in the country. Next, about Ehang coverage by Western media. On July 13, an article about Ehang was published on SeekingAlpha.com with title Ehang Holdings, Winning the Race to Commercialization. Today on July 15, a follow-up article about the original Seeking Alpha article was published on EVTOLinsights.com. The title is Ehang Shares Ready to Rebound? Respected financial website believes the time is ripe. As Ehang investors, you may care about the type certification granting time frame and price jump after the type certificate granting. Here we will discuss and comment on the related topics. Why EH fair value of $30 per share against current price of $8.31, July 13, according to Seeking Alpha article. Considerable discount. The Wolfpack short sale report is full of biased and misleading commentary, untruths, and unsupported accusations that do not stand up to scrutiny. As a result of the short seller attack, Ehang shares are trading at a considerable discount just as the company is moving into its rapid growth phase. EH is a bargain not to be missed according to the Seeking Alpha article. TC expected next quarter another world first. Note, 
TC next quarter may be just a guess by the Seeking Alpha article author. There is no current official guidance specifying the time frame. We will elaborate this a bit later. Growing flight momentum, more than 4,000 operational trial flights before TC. Ehang now benefits from the CAAC special conditions approval, allowing it to carry out operational trial flights during the certification period. As a result, the EH-216 flew more than 4,000 times in practical scenarios in eight different locations. Ehang is the only EVTOL company with actual sales, more than 100 units. It is the only EVTOL with an autonomous vehicle and with sales, and is the only one expecting type certification this year. Growing geographical momentum large pre-order in Asia countries such as Malaysia, Thailand, Japan, and Indonesia besides China. Next, about EH stock movement after type certification. EH stock movement after TC. $30 stock price after TC. This value is suggested according to the Seeking Alpha article. $25 barrier on stock chart. Let's see the EH stock chart. This is the EH stock chart for the maximum year range since Ehang IPO. As you can see on the chart, there have been a lot of shares trapped around the $25 level for an extensive period of time. This $25 level may form a resistant barrier for the stock movement. This barrier is close to or consistent with the fair value of $30 as estimated in the Seeking Alpha article. Range $25 to $30 to break before going higher. Based on the $25 barrier and the $30 fair value, the movement needs to break the range of $25 to $30 before going higher. Note, the above is just opinion, which may differ from the reality. Nothing is certain in the stock market. Next about timeframe for TC granting. Timeframe for TC. Previous official guidance, TC in mid-year, delayed due to COVID lockdown. Mid-year may indicate TC in June or in July. The delay may mean that the guidance of mid-year is no longer valid. The delay has been mentioned in the Ehang Q1 2022 earnings call, and no new guidance has been provided. As such, the exact time frame for TC is everyone's guess. No current official guidance. There is no current official guidance. All we can do is just guess. Optimistic guess, TC in Q3, that is, by end of August or by end of September. Conservative guess, TC in Q4, which is the same as TC next quarter as guessed in the Seeking Alpha article. Anyway, the TC is coming. Ehang has prepared to get it for a long time. Now we need a bit patience to wait for the eventual historical event. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.